Red Bar's got a clip up now at the moment about what's his face? Andrew Zantino. What do we think? Allegedly, Andrew Santino might have been playing away from home with Tanner Mogo. That's what Red Bar is suggesting. And Red Bar's on Red Bar's been on Andrew Santino's head top for a while. I think that's when I kind of discovered Red Bar when he was going at Andrew Santino and saying that he cheats on his wife a lot because I think he got some reports from random women um, DMing him and sending him notes and stuff and saying that he gets around town, blah, something along those kind of lines. And that's when I realized, oh shit, Red Bar's on some demon time shit because Santino wasn't even that well known back then and he was still getting at him <laughs> like he was some big famous guy and obviously trying to ruin his world. So the Tanner Mogo stuff is weird for me personally. I'm not too sure if I believe it personally, but it's an interesting way to kind of go about things. So let's let's actually play this video clip. Let's see if we can get it up here. Um, Red Bar talking about Tana Mogo. It's very interesting to their affairs. Let's see if this plays here. Please play. Don't be annoying. Let's get the bit rate down so it plays smoothly. And then we can continue on with what's going on here. Bear with me a second as this loads. Bah, 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 bah. If you're enjoying the stream, make sure you're liking it. Um, continue down below. Give me a little likey down below. That'd be greatly appreciated. Give me a little likey down below. That'll be greatly appreciated. Okay, cool. Let's get this going. Sure. Hey, I've been after this uh, comedian. You just have so much stuff. I want to do it all. Get me like uh, his YouTube channel. Okay. Because we haven't talked about Andrew Santino in quite some time. Well, we talked about Cheeseburger. That was Yeah, he's special. But I mean, you know, we used to be quite after this guy. And the, the unfortunate thing as well, if I'm not mistaken, is that Andrew Santino is one of those comedians that doesn't really talk about his private life too much. I don't really think I've even, ever seen a picture of his wife. So I don't even know what she fucking looks like. But I've never been together for a while because he mentions it sometimes. But he tries to keep his private life very private. So this is even more embarrassing if this is the case because you're now you know you don't want anyone to know anything about what you get up to at home and now this guy is completely blowing up your spot do you know what i mean but of course you only got yourself to blame to be fair because as well of all the people in la to fucking be cheating on your wife with tanamogo's too bait and she's got too much of a mouth on her like that's the worst person to try and play away from home from because she's gonna talk about it do you know what i mean she's definitely gonna talk about it so it's like it's a really dumb move if you're going to do that sort of stuff. But hey, let's hope it isn't true for his sake. And if he is married in LA, they have some crazy marriage laws, no? Don't they have some crazy laws about fucking divorce and shit? So if that does happen, woo -hoo -hoo, it's going to be a pricey hookup, a very pricey hookup. I, I don't understand. I mean, his special was awful. Remember that cheeseburger special? I don't know why people are putting up with it. His podcast seems to be bigger than ever, right? Um... I don't know if it's because he's in that show, Dave. You know, when you're on TV show, you could trick a lot of people into coming by. I no, to be fair, I think his shows are quite good. Um, he's really funny on podcasts, to be fair. He doesn't get overly political. He's really, really funny. I think so. Um, it's just a shame his stand-up isn't great. I watched a couple of his specials and it's not the greatest, but he is way funnier on podcasts, to be completely fair. So I get why people like his shows and what he does, to be fair. It makes a lot of sense. He's sort of got the fear of Vaughn when it comes to doing content. It's just all fun and loosey-goosey sort of shit. I don't know what it is. I thought by now, for sure, everyone would be sick of this guy. Everyone would hate him. And besides his special, he's been rather incidentless on Red Bar. But remember when we first started covering him, his... Big thing with Red Bar was years. that he cheats. Remember, no, he lies. Really he cheats. I'm gonna afford it here a little bit. Let's go to how this was discovered. Do you want to start? So just click the first link. First that is link. the most recent canceled podcast. <gasps> okay, and this was from what two days, like two ago, days ago? Today, it's just the uh, time coded here, one twenty-seven twenty. That's what you want. All right, we're pulling it up. Let's do our little investigation here. And it's Tan and Brooke. They look great in costume. Honestly, I had no idea that was Tana Mogo before he said it. Like, she looks so different now. I'm not too sure if she got work done on her face or she just lost a lot of weight. But she looks really, really different. Or just the makeup. I don't know. But I didn't even recognize it was her. I swear to God. Tana Mogo is the one on the right. I really didn't notice it was her. And they've never looked better than when they're in full costumes. And Stunning. we're going to 12720. Okay, here it is. Let's find out what happens here. And what does Santino have to do with any of it. Remember, Santino is married. Fully married. They live together. They're not separated. 
They're not in an open relationship. They're regular married. Let's hear what happens. Oh my God. And how do you feel about him on Dancing with the Stars? Have you watched? Mm, I watched the first episode. I think it's great that he's on Dancing with the Stars. We already kind of talked. I'm back in my Harry Jowsy era. I'm, I'm That's waiting for him in my lobby. <laughs> Brookie. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have had a crush on this comedian for like a <laughs> I love that she's just on a podcast, probably browsing her DMs or looking at her timeline and just start, just throw out. You know what I mean? Just, just, I love these, just, just throwing out these truth bombs, just this, you know, these little things on your pod and just ruining somebody's life. It's fucking incredible. <laughs> the LA scene is fucking crazy. You're just sitting there like, so I wait to suck this guy's dick so much. A while now. I've had a crush on this comedian for like a while now. By the way, this guy in the middle, what's his name? Amari. Omari. You ain't gonna like him, guys. So Tana says she's got a crush on a comedian. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I have had a crush on this comedian for like a while now. Which one? And <laughs> which one? Oh, I told Trish I'm in love with Theo Vaughn, and we like talked about it, unfortunately, for like Not way there. too long. <laughs> 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 To be fair, I'd much prefer that. If I was a comedian, I'd much prefer the adoration and the love these women have for Theo like he's a dog. They look at him like he's a cute pet. I think that's a far better way to go about things, personally for me. I wouldn't want the whole association and the whole label of being the one that's trying to hit everything that's moving because it's a bit weird and... I don't know. I think I'd have way more fun just being the guy around the crew of these people just hanging out and shit like a Theo would be right? And whatever it may be. But I think the whole kind of being a lad's lad around these type of people is really can easily backfire, especially if you've got a wife and a family at home. You probably shouldn't be playing those games. The thing you cannot like, we'll graze over shit here. Like there she like, she wants to unpack. Yeah. I know. God, I love her. Yeah, she's no, it's here. actually so funny too. Cause yesterday we were there for like six hours and Trisha I, get this. Moses. I, I don't like inconveniencing people, especially like while they're podcasting. So like wake up at like 10, whatever. And then we go over there, get there at like one We're there for six hours, six hours, which is fine. Like yeah. I love being at Trisha's. You know what? Right. I would actually consider listening to this podcast because it's so different from anything else i listen to and it's completely outside of my interest like there's some value to these vapid airhead conversations because they kind of allow your brain to just turn off you can have this on in the background and not get annoyed at what they're talking about because it's completely foreign it's sort of like an alien language right how they're talking the cadence the things that bother them their view on the world it's just so odd that it would actually be quite entertaining i bet you there's an entertaining factor of this podcast it sounds crazy but i bet you there's something about listening to tana mogo and her cast of la friends that just allows your brain to just kind of be like chill listen to it in the background and keep it going because what 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 else would you listen to some fucking comedian trying to lecture you about fucking stand-up. Trying to give you his view on the fucking ongoing war in fucking Gaza and shit. No, I don't want that. I'd rather listen to a couple of LA heads, right, in their mid-twenties complain about not being able to charge their Tesla. That's actually quite entertaining. I'm not going to lie. This <laughs> house, Like, I had, like, an amazing time there. But they're podcasting for three and a half. So we're, like, sitting in this room. And, like, it's, like, getting hot. Like, we're in silence. I yeah. felt like I was taking, like, the SAT. <laughs> And <laughs> as soon as we get to like the glam room before they even start, my phone dies. So did you and just you know, yes, and then I was just like, no, I was just sitting there all day. I was, I was wondering, wondering. I was like, are we like, I thought we were like so interesting. <laughs> no, you guys were interesting though, actually. But I was just sitting there with a the dead phone the entire time. And then we get outside as they're leaving. And she's like, will you film something like horizontal on your phone? And I was like, Tana, my phone's been dead since. Jesus Christ, bro. That way of speaking, bro. Like he's so fast, isn't it? Faster than me sometimes. <laughs> I wonder why they speak like that. Is that like a thing of like being afraid of somebody's going to cut in or interrupt you? Why would you speak in that way? That machine gun way of speaking without taking a breath. Listen to that. Listen again. So interesting. <laughs> no, you guys were interesting though, actually. But I was just sitting there with a the dead phone the entire time. And then we get outside as they were leaving. And she's like, will you film something like horizontal on your phone? And I was like, Tana, my phone's been dead since we what got- What people saying is the Ad oh, it's Adderall. <laughs> like, wow. It's like, bro, you're on a podcast with your two good friends. You're talking into a microphone. You've got an adoring fan base out there. Take your time. There's no rush. We want to hear what you have to say. That's why we're tuning in. Take your time, brother.
I hear everyone's like, <gasps> what? What? <laughs> I was like, okay, wait, I, I need to actually on. explain this to you really quickly. Here we go. Listen to this. Okay, soon. Stand up comedian. Really I've had a big crush on him. Um, we went and saw him at the show with the heckler. Mm, yes. Okay, this is important. Keep that in mind. We went to see him at the show with the heckler. So she's not going to name this comedian that she has a crush on. I, you know what I'm laughing at? Every time I'm laughing, I see this. You know what I'm laughing at? Sorry. When I, I see this bottle of um, Jim Bean, this whiskey bottle on the table, because it reminds me of Joey Diaz. Do you remember when Red Bar got under Joey Diaz's skin and he started threatening him, saying, oh, you got the fucking whiskey on the table. You think there's some sort of badass with the whiskey? <laughs> Joey Diaz got so triggered by Red Bar <laughs> and annoyed that he has the whiskey on the table and shit. It drove him insane. He got so pissed off. Like Joey Diaz was ready to crash out on fucking Red Bar. He deleted, I think he deleted that podcast, actually. He threatened to kill him, didn't he? Did he threaten to kill Red Bar, if I'm not mistaken? Uncle Joey. Your friends actually kill him, innit, or something, right? Like, he's going to get someone to kill him, or he's going to get someone to sell him that. <laughs> Uncle Joey, man. Oh. And all Redbar did was basically say that he takes Xanax or something, right? Redbar exposed that Uncle Joey took Xanax. It was fucking hilarious. But anyway, big up Uncle Joey. But she does let this one thing slip. We went to see him at the show with the heckler. Okay, listen. Um... Also, let's keep this in mind too. She's saying she has a cross on a comedian that is already married. Can we keep that in check as well? As much as these guys are horrendous and probably not the best mates, I've already said it before on this stream. People always call me a simp and a cuck and stuff. It is what it is. I accept it. But I've said it before. Being the partner or the wife of a stand-up comedian must be hell. Really must be hell. Because no matter what these guys look like, they seem to be able to really slang some dick it doesn't matter what they look like but there's something about being on a stage and talking in front of a microphone that those ladies in la or people america girl, women in america just love these guys can look like fucking walruses and they will queue up and to suck their dick so it's not even like if you're a woman and you're married to some guy that's ugly you can be comfortable that no one else finds your guy cute it doesn't matter what they look like the temptations are plenty so I think as much as it's bad that those guys going out there and cheating on their, on their wives and the mother of their children and stuff, I still think it's equally as horrible that most of these people, most of these women, sorry, that are into comedians, watch a lot of their content. That's why they like them, right? They either watch their podcasts or they watch their stand-up. So they know a lot about their lives. So if you're a woman and you actively go after a comedian or you actively engage with one who's already in a relationship, you're just as bad as the guy. You're just as bad, in my personal opinion. Just as bad. You, you're you seeing him uploading pictures of himself with his kids. You're seeing him uploading pictures on Valentine's Day. You're seeing all the standard relationships stuff people post on social media and you're still replying to the DMs. You're still meeting, you're still letting that person take you for a truck walk. You are just as bad as them, personally, in my opinion. But hey, what do I know? We went and saw him at the show with the heckler. Mm, yes. And he has a wife. He does a whole stand-up bit about his wife. Wait, he what? has a wife. Does a whole... I have a crush on a comedian. He's got a wife. Yes. And he has a wife. He does a whole stand-up bit about his wife. So why are you talking about him then? If he has a wife and he's really taken, why are you talking about him, Tanner? Why are you talking about him? Come on, lady. Come on, girl. Wait, what? Hmm. Not the heckler, like the stand-up comedian. Uh -huh. I didn't like. I thought he was cute, and then I found out he had a wife, and then I was like, oh, whatever. Okay. Um, or oh, whatever. What? Did you delete his number? Did you block him? Did you unfriend him? No, you didn't. You kept fucking double tapping the pictures. You kept double tapping the messages. You kept replying late at night. Come on, man. What are you doing? And whenever I post like my hair different colors, like people just come out of the woodworks. I feel like like some guys are just not into blonde. Okay, so, so like, a whenever I post the first trap, I'm get surprised that people reply back. Lols. A couple weeks ago, she had uh, brown hair, right? She was wearing a wig. Yes. Okay. So she said she posted a picture of herself with the different color hair on Instagram. Whenever I post like my hair different colors, like people just come out of the woodworks. I feel like like some guys are just not into blonde. So if I post that's what happened to me when I dyed my hair, all of a sudden, like literally the polar opposite guys were interested in me. And it's so hurtful too, because like <laughs> it's so hurtful. That some guys like me brown and some guys like me brown and blonde. 
Honestly, I might listen to this podcast, you know. I might start listening to this podcast because these are some asinine concerns. It actually hurts my feelings that some people like me blonde and some people like me with dark hair. It's like, what? <laughs> okay, I'm going to listen to you. This is quite fun. <laughs> this is so dumb. It's actually entertaining. Like, sometimes it'll be like my crushes being like, you've never looked better. Like, and then I'm like, the heckler. The heckler did say that to and me. She and she debated, else. literally, like, rose out of bed and she was like, Mario, I'm going to the hair shop. Yo, 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 yo. What language is this guy talking? He sounds like XQC. What the fuck? Heckler did say that to me. And she debated, else. literally, like, rose out of bed and she was like, Mario, I'm going to the hair shop tomorrow. Now, I don't care. I don't think that's an Adderall thing. I think that's a trend. I don't think it's an Adderall thing. I think that's a trend with some young kids where they speak like that in that cadence. Like, it's not even a run on sentence. It's like a. A stream of consciousness. It's fucking crazy. Say that. To and me she debated, else. literally, like rose out of bed and she was like, "Mario, I'm going to the hair shop tomorrow. Wow. Like, we're going to get box dye if we have to." <laughs> but this amazing. this comedian just slid in my DM saying, "On your brunette shit," and then like, "How are you?" and like all this. <laughs> Andrew Santino, Andrew Santino, on your brunette shit. You know those kind of like, it's a it's a it's a little it's a pool. But it's not a pool, right? Mandem, no. You say something, but you're not really saying anything. You're just like, you know what I mean? You're just a little, it's a little fade away. You know what I mean? It's a little, you're hoping it goes in. <laughs> you know? On your brunette shit with a little, you know, salute. You know, you know what I'm going. Mandem, no. The mandem at the back, no. <laughs> shit, and I'm like, don't you have a wife? Hmm, maybe mm. he. Oh my she didn't say that in the DMs, though. She said, don't you have a wife in her head, you know? Her little thingy downstairs went, Row! but her head said, wife. You should have said that in the fucking DMs, woman, okay? I got ice spice. This comedian slid into my DMs. What did he say here? Let's hear that one more time. If we have to. But this, this comedian just slid in my DMs saying, on your brunette shit. And then like, how are you? And like all this shit. And I'm like, don't you have a wife? Hmm, maybe mm -hmm. he. Oh my God, ice spice dance. just asked where the party is. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Honestly, Joe Rogan would hate Tanner, innit? She's literally on her phone the entire podcast, isn't it? Joe Rogan would hate Tanner Mogo as a guest. Joe Rogan would hate Tanner Mogo as a guest. She literally sits on her phone the entire pod. She just sits there talking on the phone while she's he would Joe Rogan would hate her as a guest. I'm so I hear this. Yeah. And I had a little memory tingle. Mm-hmm. Of we actually, I think, watched this podcast on the show. Okay, the episode so you hear where this? Tana interviews Whitney. Yes. Okay, so we're going to go to that next podcast, right? So she said it was a comedian that she saw on a night where she went to a comedy show with a heckler, a guy who okay. ended up heckling the show. So we're so going to go back in tingle. time. Yes, yeah, she was doing a podcast with Whitney about a month back, right? Yeah. A couple months. Okay, what time are we going here? Uh, one thirteen fifteen. 113.15. Okay, let's see what happens here. There's Whitney looking nice. Didn't know him from him being super famous. Like, I can... Yeah, you know. no, no, no. He's he's totally an she icon. She doesn't I know seem... if he was funny or not because she was texting the whole time. Oh, wow. Yo, this thing, again, did, did, did Tana get work done or she just got older? She just complete. I didn't know that was her. She looks very different. God damn, son. Did she get work done or is that just how she's always looked? Or she lost a lot of weight? No, there was just a couple. There was just a couple jokes, and I was like, oh. "Where, where, where? Are you at the comedy store? Um, where were we? We Why were you uh, text me and to ask me what, what were you seeing a friend? Well, we were at the store. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Well, okay. you ended up seeing. Also, how how old is Whitney Cummings? Why don't you take like LA's a weird place, isn't it? Like, imagine you're in your forties hanging out with twenty year olds. As a woman, it must be. Is that like I know it's one thing for guys to be into younger girls. But I wonder if there are women out there who are in their 40s who have friends that are in their 20s. Is that normal? Like, what do you guys have in common? Like, it's a bit strange, no? Or, I don't know. Maybe it isn't, maybe it isn't. I'm not too sure. Plus, if you're going out and you're all single, none of the guys are going to be after you anyway. No? Even if you're a woman on the prowl, surely you want to give yourself a chance to hook up with somebody. The last thing you want to do is be with some mid-20-year-olds. Like, no, that's just doesn't give you a good chance. <laughs> like, I don't know.
Andrew know. Santino, is that his name? He's yeah, on. Yeah. Um, He's my buddy. Yeah, he was on. Ah, so let's rewind that. Tanner's speech she's slick. You know what Tanner said? She's like, um, I don't know his name. And she said his full name correctly the first time. You know who he fucking is. You want to suck that wow. ginger No, there was just a couple. You want that ginger sausage? Come on. Well, there was just a couple let's, jokes. Let's and I was like, oh. Where were where, where, you at the comedy store? Um, Where were we? We were you uh, text me and to ask me, what, what were you seeing a friend? Oh, we were at the store. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Well, okay. we ended up seeing Andrew Santino. Is that his name? He's yeah, yeah. on. Uh, is that his name? <laughs> is that his name? She wants that guy. God almighty, man. Fucking hell. Imagine the fucking. Um, what's that word called? Imagine the. Um, Imagine the pressures of being a comedian's partner and having to compete with this shit. You're, just, you're an older lady. You popped out a couple of kids. Or maybe you're on your way of popping out one. You're married and shit. And then you're hearing rumors that your husband might be trying to hook up with some mid-20-year-old blondie. It's like, fucking hell, man. Like, there's only so many. There's only so much you can do to your boobs. There's only so much you can do to your face. What else can you do? Do you know I mean you having to compete with a with a twenty with a with a twenty year old? It's like fuck. Um, he's my buddy. Yeah, he was on Dave, yeah. and I didn't know he did stand up until that night. And he yeah. was so fucking yeah, funny. Yeah, he's great. He was he's incredible. Great. Do you yeah. know that? Should should we just break the story now? Uh -oh. The heckler. It's bad. Yeah, like we. Yeah. The heckler. We went with this guy. So you went to see a commit on the other podcast. She thinks she forgets that she told this story. Yep. <laughs> That they went to see Andrew Santino, oh, and that was the show no. with the heckler. Oh, no. So on the new podcast, oh, she's no. talking about Santino. Uh-oh. Oh, no. uh -oh. The heckler? It's bad. Yeah, like we, yeah. we went with this guy. Is there any more here? I've always thought this guy she was like a story. very... Anyway, um, Santino maybe got rumbled. I'm not too sure if that's true. Um, hoping it's not for him. But I do love the hate boner that red bar has for Santino. It's so funny because Santino generally keeps his head down. He stays out of drama. He minds his business. He does his pods. He keeps himself to himself. But red bar fucking hates him. And I don't know why. <laughs> it's so like, it's it feels kind of unnecessary. It feels kind of out of order, you know, like, but he fucking hates Santino. Because I remember, again, I only discovered red bar because of, San of the Santino hate early on. Um, and he hasn't let up on him. So I love the fact that he just keeps on riding him like this and putting these conspiracy theories together, which are looking kind of true. Most likely that probably did happen. So unfortunately for Red Bar, he's gotten rumbled. But in, 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 all, in all honesty, he only has himself to blame. Right? Let's be fair. He has himself to blame. If you're gonna go, if you're gonna cheat on your wife, don't cheat on her with the fucking one of the most famous social media content creators, you know, in fucking LA. Do you know what I mean? That's just a bit wild. That's a bit too much. She shouldn't have done that because eventually she was gonna say something. You know what I mean? Like, plus she's, you know, she's got a fucking podcast. She's known for being messy anyway. Like, Santino should have picked a better person to play away from home with if he needed to be. But hey, hoping it's not true. You know, he's innocent until proven guilty, and even if he is guilty. As the man, the defender, I'm just going to say he didn't do it. You know, Santino didn't do it. Santino innocent. <laughs> Santino innocent. 